Salt Spring Island's only radio station has been sold. CFSI now belongs to Radio Punjab. The community-based station has only been on the air for a few years, but the locals say it has become their island voice, and they don't want that voice to change. CTV's Jet Bassey has the story. As you probably heard, we're undergoing some changes right now. The voice of the Salish Sea, CFSI 107.9 FM, has been sold. The station was put with a brokerage and uh, it was advertised on the internet itself to see whether there'd be um, some professional person that could take community radio to a different step that I couldn't take it to. The station was sold for a little over $200,000. The sudden sale came as a shock to the people who work there. It's really surprising uh, to me and, and to a lot of people. Because there were no indications to any of us that this was going to happen. The new owner of the station, Sukhdev Singh Dillon, is a major player in Indo-Canadian media. His network, Radio Punjab, operates in Alberta and throughout the Lower Mainland. Well, I had a station in uh, near Edmonton, Batasco, Alberta. And uh, I always wanted to change the format in uh, Alberta to the, po the same format that we have here in Salt Spring Island, which was a specialty channel. This is your community radio station, Salt Spring Island. Salt Spring Island is a unique place, and many here feel the station is its voice. There's a lot of local music here, and that's one of the great things um, about the radio station. Um, uh, there's, uh, there's a real voice for music, uh, a voice for the arts, and uh, a voice for the environment. Many fear that Dylan will change the station's tune to cater the Indo-Canadian community in the Cowichan Valley. That fear shouldn't exist because I don't plan to do that. As you know, there isn't much Punjabi community here, so it's no need to go that way. The Salt Spring Island community is well represented on the airwaves, and Dylan expects to keep it that way. We're going to keep all the uh, volunteers, the management as the same. So, you know, we'll try to create uh, awareness uh, in the community. Yeah, there's going to be no changes whatsoever. The CRTC has already approved the sale, and Dylan will get the keys to the station in March. We've been here since uh, 2009 doing this, and I'll bet you we'll be here in 3009. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, Salt Spring Island.